Sukrayaan, also known as Venus Mission, is a space exploration mission by Indian Space Research Organization (ISRO) that aims to study Venus' atmosphere, surface, and interior. So, hello world. In today's video, we will discuss in detail about this mission. ISRO's upcoming mission Sukrayaan is a major step forward in the agency's plans to explore the planet Venus. This mission which is set to launch in the next few years will study the planet's atmosphere, surface and interior to better understand its geology and climate. So let's discuss about Venus planet. We already know Venus often referred to as Earth's twin is considered as the most similar planet to Earth in terms of size and structure. However, the surface of Venus is extremely hostile to life with temperatures reaching up to 462 degrees Celsius and a pressure 90 times that of the Earth. Despite its similarity to Earth, Venus has remained a mystery due to thick atmosphere which makes it hard to study the planet's surface. The mission's studies of Venus' atmosphere will help scientists understand how it evolved and how it differs from Earth's atmosphere. The mission will also study the planet's interior with the help of a seismometer to measure Venus quakes and a magnetometer to study the planet's magnetic field. These studies will help scientists understand the planet's geology and tectonics. Do you know why is the Venus mission important? So by studying Venus, scientists learn how Earth-like planet evolved and what conditions exist on Earth-sized exoplanets. Venus also helps scientists model Earth's climate and uh, serves as a, you can say, how dramatically a planet can change uh, and uh, you also can say how dramatically a planet's climate can change, basically. So, Crayon also represents a significant milestone for ISRO as it will be the first time for the agency has sent a spacecraft to, uh, to study Venus. The mission will also showcase ISRO capabilities, interplanetary exploration and will be a great step forward in understanding the evolution of solar system. It will also be an opportunity for international collaboration. So let's talk about the main objective of this mission. So one of the main objective of Sukriyan is to study the thick atmosphere of Venus which is composed primarily of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Scientists hope to gain insights into the planet's weather patterns and learn more about how its thick atmosphere interacts with the solar wind. In addition to studying the atmosphere, Sukriyan will also use radar to map the planet's surface and its study in geology. This will allow scientists to learn more about the history of Venus and how it changed over time. Sukrayan will also equip with a variety of instruments to study the planet's interior including a seismometer to measure Venus quake and a magnetometer to study the planet's magnetic field. The mission will be launched by ISRO GSLV that is a geosynchronous launch vehicle, MK3 launch vehicle and it will be placed into an elliptical orbit around Venus when it will study the planets for several years. Do you know which country is helping India in Sukrayan? So Sweden is getting on board India's orbiter mission Sukrayan with a scientific instrument to explore the planet. And uh, the expected launching date of this mission, after the success of Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan, now ISRO planning in Gaganyaan mission and Sukrayan mission. ISRO had originally planned to launch Sukrayan in mid-2023, but the pandemic pushed the date to December 2024. So probably in December 2024, might be this mission will be completed or uh, the ISRO is now readying the spacecraft to orbit Venus to study what lies below the surface of the solar system's hottest planet and unravel the mysteries under the sulfuric acid clouds in enveloping it. The December 2024 window is being targeted for its launch with the orbital maneuver planned for the following year when Earth and Venus would be so aligned that the spacecraft could be put in the neighboring planet's orbit with a minimum amount of propellant. And uh, just we can discuss which country landed on Venus first. So we already know Soviet 
एंड द डेट वॉज ऑन दिसंबर फिफ्टीन नाइनटीन एंड अनमेंड सोवियत स्पेस क्राफ्ट वेनेरा सेवन बिकम द फर्स्ट स्पेस क्राफ्ट टू लैंड ऑन अनदर प्लानट इट मेजर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ एटमोसफेरिक ऑन वेनस एंड लेट इज डिस्कस प्रीवियस ग्लोबल वेनस मिशन सो वेनस वॉज द फर्स्ट प्लानट टू बी एक्सप्लोर बाय स्पेस क्राफ्ट वेन नासाज मरीनर टू सक्सेसफुली फ्लू बाय ए स्कैन द क्लाउड कवर्ड वर्ल्ड ऑन दिसंबर फोर्टीन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू सिंस दैन न्यूमरस स्पेस क्राफ्ट फ्रॉम द यू एस एंड अदर स्पेस एजेंसीज हैव एक्सप्लोर वेनस इंक्लूडिंग नासाज मैगलैन विच मैप द प्लानट सर्फेस विथ रडार सोवियत स्पेस क्राफ्ट वेनेरा मेड द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल लैंडिंग ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ वेनस टू डेट बट दे डिडंट सर्वाइव लॉन्ग ड्यू टू एक्सट्रीम हिट एंड क्रसिंग प्रेसर एन अमेरिकन प्रोब वन ऑफ नासा स्पायोनियर वेनस मल्टी प्रोब्स सर्वाइव फॉर अबाउट एन आवर आफ्टर इम्पैक्टिंग द सर्फेस इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट अदर सक्सेसफुल फ्लाई बाय वेनस मिशन बाय नासा वेयर गलीलियो नाइनटीन एटी नाइन कैसे More recent Venus mission includes ESA Venus Express which orbits from 2006 to uh, until 2016 you can say and Japan's Venus Climate Orbiter which is orbiting since 2016 NASA Parker Solar Probe has made multiple flybys of uh, Venus on Feb 9 2022 NASA's announced the spacecraft had captured its first visible light images of the surface of Venus from space during its February 2021 flyby So let us discuss how many countries have landed on Venus. So in the conclusion we can say the United States, Soviet Union and European space agencies have spent many space craft to Venus. Some flew by the planet, some orbited it, some descended through the atmosphere and struck the surface. Uh, you can say hard landed and a few soft landed on the surface. So now we are coming to the conclusion of uh, today's video. and the conclusion is overall sukhryan is an ambitious and exciting mission that will greatly expand our understanding of venus one of the most mysterious planets in our solar system it will be a great opportunity for isro to showcase its capabilities in interplanetary exploration and also study more about the planet which is often referred as earth's twin it will be a great opportunity for international collaboration as well as it will be a great step forward in understanding the evolution of solar system So this is all about the Venus mission also known as Sukhryan so thank you so much guys for watching this video keep learning bye bye take care